If your child is enrolled in the New Haven daycare program, we have got you back this noon with everything you need to know about some closings. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Keith Coons. We've got the latest now on this story that we first told you about right here last week. Mayor Tony Harp is set to meet with some angry parents now that two programs are shutting down at two separate schools. News Ace Noel Gardner live in our New Haven newsroom this noon with the very latest on all that's happening. Noel. Good afternoon, Keith. Two pre K programs are closing next month. That means dozens of kids will need to find a new school, and that has some parents scrambling. They gave us one month notice, so the question is still out there. What am I supposed to do with my child? Parents are outraged after two New Haven daycare programs are closing their doors at the end of June. The Dwight Early Education Childhood and the Early Childhood Learning Center. The ECLE holds 32 infants and toddlers. And at Dwight, there are 48 pre K students. Officials say funding for the programs comes from the state child daycare grant, which ends June 30th. It's a change that will create almost a half million dollars of annual savings for the district. I think it's going to put all parents in a tough spot. I also think that, um, I just think that Tony Hart really needs to reevaluate. I mean, I'm a taxpayer too. Notifications went out to parents less than a week ago, and they say it's going to be hard for their kids to start all over. Bonds have been formed here. My daughter's been going for two years now. She's had continuity with having the same teacher. So, I mean, it's very disturbing. Parents say they were given a list of optional daycares, but say it's a long waiting list to get their child into another program. They gave us a list of placements. We called those sites. Those sites are closed. Parents tell us their children need the early education. They learn um, their alphabets, they learn songs, they learn the itsy bitsy spider, things that you would teach them at home, you would reinforce them. They learn um, education, they learn nature, they go on nature walks. They're excited to be, you know, around others their age. You know, it's a good program for them. Officials say staff at both centers are working with parents to ensure a smooth transition to new programs that will fit their needs. And parents tell me they're heading to Mayor Harp's office tonight at 6 to voice their concerns. Live in the newsroom, Noelle Gardner, News 8.